the women's pole vaulters with us this evening. Uh, we have Katerina Stefanidi from Greece, our gold medalist, Sandy Morris, our silver medalist from the USA, Ro Robaye Penado from Venezuela, and Yarosli Silva from Cuba. Okay? Now, anybody that has any questions for any of the uh, winners tonight? Yes, please. Could we? Yeah. I would like to ask uh, Katerina Stefanidi. Uh, Katerina, uh, are you focusing after the receiving uh, the third medal, a uh, gold medal in all outdoor great manifest, uh, great events, uh, to to do a world record uh, till the uh, terminate uh, the terminal of uh, this uh, diamond link? Uh, well, I I, I think. Often it's quite difficult to focus and motivate yourself after a big championship and especially after a successful big championship. I, I have been ready to, to jump the high, I would say, all season and I think it shows in the consistency, I think it shows in my jumps at 502 today. I am an athlete that struggles to motivate myself with records. I, I do a lot better motivating myself and pushing myself when it comes to medals. Uh, so this is something we're working on. Today was a big step forward for me to be able to jump a height once I had already won. That has not happened very many times in my career, so that was a big step forward. Um, the world record is its out there. It's something that we're thinking about. In the future, I don't know whether we'll get good enough conditions uh, in the next two or three meets, but I would like to attempt it again. <laughs> There's a question at the front here, please. And then this gentleman. Um, Larry Eder with Run, Blog, Run. This is for Sandy and Ekaterina. You've been competing against each other all season. We see you on the circuit. Can you talk about the competition this evening, especially when it got above 475? Okay. Sure, yeah. <laughs> Um, well, I knew Kat was like on her A game. She's been very, very consistent, especially at that 80 bar. And um, this whole year I've kind of been struggling a little bit, just trying to get my feet under me and just working my way back up toward the 90s. And my goal tonight was to try to get back into the 90s, but I wasn't able to accomplish that personally. And so anytime I go into a competition, whether Kat's there or not, I try to just look at it as competing against myself. So I was... I'm not disappointed in, in how I was doing physically, like my jumps were there, but I just didn't quite put it together at the, with the right pole in my hand and those standards in the right spot. And that's why it makes it so special when you do put those bars together <coughs> because it can be so hard to get the standards in the right place and, and the pole in, in your hand that you need. Um, and um, yeah, so I would say anytime I compete against Kat, I just focus on myself, really. And honestly, that's the only way you can get through any competition, um, especially in the pole vault, because it's such a mental thing. You can't focus on your competitors. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, so like Sandy said... I, I have been pretty consistent this season, and she has had a bit of a weird season up and down, but coming here, we knew she would be the one that would have to compete against, and it, it showed. She, she jumped really good. She had good attempts at the next height. Uh, I, think, I, I think it was kind of expected that at some point it would probably be the two of us, unless there was some big surprise. Uh, I think this rivalry, I mean, we have a really good relationship, so I, I don't know, this healthy rivalry, uh, I think it's it's really good f for both of us. I think we'll push each other higher, uh, and I think it's good for the event, too. This is for Ros Bayliss. Uh, you equaled your national record. Um, you're still 19 years of age. What's your thoughts about what went on out there today, and what's your thoughts about where you go in the future? Hoy he logrado el récord nacional. ¿Y qué es lo que bueno tienes 19 años? ¿Qué es lo que piensas de lo que pasó hoy y lo que piensas va a pasar en tu futuro? Bueno, estoy muy feliz de haber logrado esta medalla con mi mejor marca personal y la verdad es que creo que 
ahora es que empieza mi camino, porque eh, se me cerró una puerta en las Olimpiadas, pero se me abrieron muchas más, entonces voy a seguir trabajando para, para llegar más lejos. I'm really happy to have won this medal with my um, personal best and that the, the best. Um, now I'm just beginning to start my own path, seeing as the doors were closed for me um, last year. And I'm going to continue working really hard to continue in order to get the best um, moving forward at the next games. Hello to Katerina, congratulations first of all. Um, two years ago, I think your personal best was 465. Now uh, you began, it was your first attempt at that uh, high. 465, I think only Isimbayeva, Yelena Isimbayeva was the only person who dared to begin from that high. <laughs> was it too risky uh, to take that decision to begin from 465 and uh, what does this mean? For the future, um, I the the last two Diamond Leagues in Rome and in London, uh, in both of them I started at 4:65, uh, so it wasn't some big risk that we were taking. I, I've done it before. Uh, we 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 train and we compete for consistency. I would say I think maybe there's a couple of things that I could do tomorrow to make me jump high once and then jump low many times and we we don't do that we we work for consistency we want to to know that i can make 480 every day we want to know that i'm confident at 490 and taking taking attempts at five meters and that's what matters right now and that's i think that's what wins medals uh, <clears throat> so I, I, I don't think starting at 465 was uh, risky I, I mean i started at 460 in the prelim and i had waited way longer so i think this just this, this risky <laughs> Um, it's to Ka Katarina and Sandy, and can you compare and contrast the atmosphere in the stadium? Because once again, it came down to a head-to-head -head duel with Rio, because Rio, you know, there was hardly anybody there, and tonight we heard the, the Greek music at the end, <laughs> and so just what, was going, what were your thoughts about the actual uh, situation you found yourself in? Um... <laughs> I mean, it really, it really was great. The crowd was very supportive of all of us. Of course, a little more supportive of the British athletes, but it's understandable. Uh, but I think it's very important for big championships like this to take places in places like this, to take place in places like this, that the fans are more knowledgeable. Uh, they, they appreciate the event a lot more. Uh, of course, we could do a lot of things to, to grow the, the sport in places where it's not quite as appreciated yet, but I think the atmosphere, I mean, we've competed here, I've competed here, I think this is my fifth time in London, it's always a great atmosphere. Uh, the, 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 the fans understand the difference between jumping 460 and jumping 490, and they react different to it, and I think that's very important for an athlete. It, it was a great atmosphere in there. Yeah, no, I would definitely agree with her um, that the games in Rio, it was obvious that they had never put something like that on before. So um, the atmosphere here, you know, even when it comes down to the way it was officiated um, and everything, uh, they know how to do it. And so I definitely enjoyed jumping here. The fans know what's going on. They're in tune with things. They understand, you know, first attempts versus third attempts. And they can, you know, when they're in tune with what's going on, they know exactly when to cheer loudly like she said they know the difference between jumping 460 and jumping 490 so um, I would definitely say this is one of the best atmospheres that I've experienced and it was great it was a lot of fun Hi uh, my question is for Yaris Lay uh, is your third podium consecutive in a world championship how do you feel? I'm sorry, could you, could you just repeat the question? I didn't quite catch the first part. Uh, it is uh, her third medal in the World Championship consecutive for the 2000. Um, well, yes. 
Es tu tercera medalla consecutiva en una ah. mundial. ¿eh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. You can say it in Spanish, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, ¿Sí entendiste? Sí. Okay. Sí. Yeah. 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 Bueno, primero quiero felicitar a mis compañeras por la actuación maravillosa que hicieron, también a Rubacing, con que con 19 años tiene una medalla de bronce mundial. Eh, me siento feliz, esta es mi tercera medalla eh, mundial, estoy contenta, creo que es un, un mérito para mi país, para mi familia, para mi profesor. Es un trabajo de mucho, es mucho, es eh, el sacrificio, ¿no? De muchos años de esfuerzo, de, de, de entrega. Y realmente feliz y contenta, ¿no? Porque no son todas, pienso yo que no son todos los atletas que tienen la posibilidad de participar en cuadros mundiales, bueno, y tener medallas. Estoy feliz, contenta, sí. Um, I, um, yes, yeah, so this is my third world medal. Um, I'm really happy to have, to have won it. Um, it's a medal for my country, for my family, and for my profession. Um, there was a lot of sacrifice that has went into this, but I'm really happy that this is the fourth championships that I'm at, and I have a medal. One more question for Katerina. Uh, winning this uh, championship, uh, you became uh, the best uh, ever female athlete in uh, Greece. Uh, never before uh, we have uh, at the same time uh, Olympic champion, world champion, a European champion. Uh, does this put more pressure to you for the next games? What does this mean for now and for the future? Um, I, I see pressure as a privilege. I think that if people didn't expect things from me because I was doing good all year and people know I compete or the fans know I compete well at championships, I think there wouldn't be pressure. So I see pressure as a privilege. Um, I definitely had, I would say, more pressure this time uh, coming in, uh, from Rio uh, uh, and have been the favorite because of how the season has gone so far. I definitely felt more nervous than before, but I think I'm somebody who can control it very well uh, and I think maybe even do better under pressure. So. Uh, I, I don't think it will be more, pr more pressure. I think we're, we're looking to what's next now. <laughs> uh, what is next? I don't know. <laughs> One last question. For Ros Bayliss, uh, the whole world knows the political situation in Venezuela is very difficult. How has that had an impact on you? Eh, todo el mundo conoce la situación actual en Venezuela políticamente. ¿Cómo, uh, cómo esta situación te ha afectado personalmente? Bueno, lo he dicho muchas veces y creo que ese tema de política no me gustaría tocarlo. She, I've been asked this quite a few times and I think that the political situation is something that I don't want to talk about. <laughs> 